Welcome back and thanks for staying with Newsnight. Now, Cape Town Mayor Patricia DeLille is demanding an apology over defamatory statements she believes have been made about her. An image is being distributed on social media claiming the Auditor General made various findings against her, but she says this is false. Dalila has penned an open letter addressed to several DA members. She joins us now from our Cape Town studio. Good evening, Mayor. Thanks very much uh, for your time. Um, tell us, who are these people that uh, you are directing this uh, open letter to and why an open letter instead of, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, um, sending letters to them directly? For you, I've always maintained that my name is being smeared in public and need to be cleared in public. And therefore, for the past three months, uh, we've been able to identify four people that we could uh, identify as having this, uh, posted this, this false information about the Auditor General. You will recall in May this year, the Auditor General distanced himself from that information. And therefore, I have now written an open letter to the four members of the Democratic Alliance saying to them that I'm giving you until the 18th of October to give me an, a public apology, failing which I have instructed my lawyers to then proceed with legal action against them. Why wouldn't you proceed with your legal action straight away? No, no, I've already instructed my lawyers, but I have said that I'm reaching out to them publicly to say that I'm giving you until the 18th of October if you don't uh, apologize publicly. And what I mean publicly is that I would like to see an, an apology on social media, in the print media, and on the, the tele, the television, because th that's where all of these allegations appeared against me. me. If they are not prepared to do this within seven days, I will then start the legal process. The legal process will then mean that I will then sue them for defamation of character. And that is why I've allowed, this, allowed the space to give them an opportun opportunity to apologize. Let's say that uh, they are indeed uh, part of the smear campaign, um, as uh, you allege. But uh, the fact of the matter is that you managed to get your party to drop the charges and stop that process that uh, they had uh, started. Now, why would you then want to pursue people who may perhaps still be aggrieved at the fact that uh, you seem to have won at the end of the day? Now, this abuya certainly is not about dropping the charges. This is about defaming and defamation. Now, all of us are entitled in terms of the laws of this country to have our integrity protected. And it will also send out a very strong lesson to people who want to play dirty politics, that if you take the risk of putting something out there which is not being tested, that you will be held personally liable because we cannot continue to have anybody say anything on social media, defaming myself and get away with it. So that is why I'm very reasonable to say, I will give you until the 18th, I will accept a public apology, but failing then, I exercise my right to sue you for defamation. Um, you can't uh, pursue an internal um, democratic alliance process? Well, I have certainly already written to the party way back uh, about two, three months ago, uh, complaining about what these members have done and asking the party to charge them in terms of the party's social media policy. 
because nothing has come out of that, and I've got the proof that I've written to the party to complain about being defamed and being insulted by these members of the party on social media and in the public. But because nothing has come out of my complaints, following due process and following the systems of the party, I decided to take it in my own hands to pursue for defamation, allowing them a time period for a public apology. Uh, tell me why someone would be wrong to then conclude that uh, the Democratic Alliance doesn't care, uh, at the very least, about what is happening, you say is happening to you. And at worst, um, this is happening um, uh, 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 with the blessings of uh, some important people within the Democratic Alliance. Because when you look at the names of uh, the people you say are involved in this, these are fairly high-profile people. Shahana Kaji is the DA as uh, Guazulu Natal Deputy Provincial Chairperson. Mike Waters is a stalwart Deputy, deputy Chief of uh, the party in uh, the National Assembly. Bronwyn Engelbrecht is in the National National Council of Provinces. Surely, a party that takes the matters you are raising seriously wouldn't allow this sort of thing to, to happen. Uh, Vuya, to me, is all about principle. That we are all equal before and subject to the party constitution. And in terms of the party constitution, if I am aggrieved, and I feel that my rights are being violated, I can then invoke the party's uh, disciplinary procedure to charge those people. Now, I have attempted that. I've written to say, I feel aggrieved because this is what certain party members said about me. Now, I have followed due process, and we are all equal before the party constitution, and indeed equal before the law. And so, when... Uh, that was not taken up when said that these people were not charged in terms of the party's constitution and nothing happened to them. I, I, I made the conclusion that that's going to be the end of the road. And therefore, my second option was then to pursue my right in terms of the country's constitution, which is that I've got a right to have my uh, integrity protected. And that's where we are now. And this is the part you're still prepared to go and speak to the, South, to the people of South Africa in the next few months and say they must vote for it because these are Democrats who treat everybody fairly. As far as I'm concerned, I feel aggrieved. I've not been treated fairly, Vuyo. I feel that due process has not been followed in my case, that I have complained about what these party members have done to me. Nothing has happened for the past few months. And therefore, I've now taken it upon myself to clear my name publicly and to say that I also have rights. Uh, all public representatives are entitled to the same rights in our constitution like all members of the public are. And that is what I'm exercising now. Patricia Talil, thanks very much uh, for your time uh, this evening. She is, of course... Thank you, Vuyo, for the opportunity. Okay, she has told uh, members of the Democratic Alliance who she says are posting in posting or otherwise distributing a document that she considers defamatory. She has given them until the 18th to issue a public apology, failing which she is going to sue them.